Alright, so I finally decided to make use of the Advanced Supply to get Argent Knight's Artemis to double S. So right now, I do have her with 9 fragments, that's it. Um, uh, which mostly came from, like, the Witch's Corridor because of, like... Oh wait, no, they're not. Uh, I think it's from the first time I pulled her because all the Pure Witch's Orbs are still there. And one thing worth noting is that I can actually buy more of her fragments by getting these overflowing fragments and then converting them to pure witches orbs and then going back there to buy more Argent Knight fragments. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do that, but I'm sure I'll be relying on it because the option is there and it saves me crystals. So yeah, we're about to start and uh, oh right, uh, the history, right? So I haven't pulled anything from this banner as you guys would expect. And here we go. Okay, first card, and it is Yamabuki Armor. Okay, I mean, there is a chance it could be the S rank. Um, not saying it can't be, just it's really low. I don't think I've gotten the S rank- oh wait. Okay, Snowy Sniper. Well, two cards and ten pulls, can't complain. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've gotten the S rank card early in any advanced supply that I've done. Anyway, I've only done two. One was Shadow Knight, and the one before that was Celestial Him. Um, I think on Celestial Him, I took like 70 pulls or 80 pulls to get the S rank card, and then I just did the remaining pulls to get the remaining fragments. Um, for Shadow Knight, I think I got. I didn't even get the S rank card, but I pushed for enough fragments because she was pretty near to Triple S, and just got her to Triple S. So, you know, I don't think the drop rate for advanced supplies are that good for S ranks? I don't know. We'll see. Alright. I'm not- okay, Valkyrie Gloria. I was about to say I'm not sure like which guarantee how many pulls- holy crap. What? That- I think this is the 20th pull? Oh god. I just realized my recording is set in the wrong resolution. It's set to record the window mode which I usually use for streams. Gotta fix it, just give me a second. And we're back. Oh god. I don't think there's any way to fix that in editing. But uh, fun fact, if I did not get the S rank at that point, I probably would not have switched over, I, I mean not have noticed, because usually when something big happens, I look over at OBS. There have been times when I forgot to hit record, or I think I hit record and it didn't start recording, so, you know, I just look over every time something happens. Um, and yeah, apparently this time it's the resolution that wasn't right. Uh, but yeah, now we're back, and probably back then you couldn't see my crystal count. We have done 20 pulls, and uh, so that is 5800. Is it? No, 5600. So, um, add that to the current crystal count, and we have 66,870. That was what we started with, and we're now, um, 20 pulls in, with already one S rank card. So with that one card, uh, that got me one entire star. So it's S rank and one star, and then the fragments that we're getting as a bonus, as, you know, part of the advanced supply, and the fragments that I can buy from the pure witch's orbs, uh, got me another star, and now we need 40 more fragments to get her to double S. Okay, here we go. Valkyrie Triumph, and on the 10th pull, so... You know, we're back to the normal, wait for the guarantee, and it's probably gonna be a random A rank. Which I'm totally fine with, because we're still getting fragments. Um, and yeah, but if that was an S rank card, then I'd only have to buy two more fragments with Pure Witch's Ort, and we'd be done. But you know, we already got the S rank card early, and I did actually prepare to do at least like 80 or 90 pulls for this, so... We're fine, we're like 40 pulls in, it's still halfway through. I think we're good. Alright, 10 pull again, and it's Shadow Dash. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I don't think I'm gonna be getting another S rank card. Uh, let's see, what else? Alright, we got 8, 16, and that means I need another 24? Okay, so if I need another 24, I can buy... I can't buy 24, I don't think I can. I mean, I can over time, uh, but let's see what we have here. 8 and 10. 
So that's 18, so I'm gonna need another 6. I can actually buy 6. I mean, wait, yeah. I'm just gonna buy a few of the overflowing fragments, and then use them to buy the remaining 6. So, what's that? Was that like 10 pulls and then 15? So, another 25 pulls and we're gonna get her to double S. Otherwise, you know, if an S rank card wants to drop in before that, I mean like, before we even hit 25 pulls, then I'd be happy to, to just take those 30 fragments. But otherwise, we're just gonna do this real quick. Alright, so we have the orbs, but I'm not gonna be spending them just yet. You know, we're still gonna be pulling because you never know. Maybe an S rank card is gonna come out. I'm hoping. Let's go. Oh hey, we're down to the- I don't know how many pulls that was, but okay, it was Blueberry Blitz. And yeah, still going. Third. This is the third after that. Okay, so that was the seventh pull guarantee. Um, nothing special, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna need... I mean, I'm gonna get 10 fragments after I do 15 pulls. Uh, and then I'm gonna buy 3 more, and that'll get me to double S. I'm thinking if I could just buy all 13? I don't know if that's gonna be... I mean, I could check out the War Treasury. Uh, where is it? Sorry, I'm just randomly clicking up right here. Okay, so this will get me two fragments because, you know, you need two to exchange for, never mind. Anyway, two here. So that's four, six, and eight. Plus four that I have now. Oh god, that is brutal. I'm still gonna. I'll be one fragment short. Oh, okay, I could wait until next week. Or. We could just do it. Because, you know, I'm I'm trying to clean up like on the remaining Valkyries that I don't have at Triple S in the War Treasury. So I'm thinking of like spending more willpower per week. Yeah, because I still have Blood Rose and Dimension Breaker at S rank. I know they're not like key Valkyries, but I still want to get them to at least like double S. But then at the same time, I wanna keep working on Memento to get her triple S because she's still relevant. And I do want to get Molotov Cherry up to triple S as well because she has a good leader skill and basically she is still a good support and sometimes a DPS. Um, so yeah, I want to be like working on all of them uh, at the same time. And that's why, you know, I would prioritize like saving willpower over crystals just for this situation. Usually it's the other way around be it on this account or my uh, Chinese account. Uh, because yeah, you know, crystals are usually the most valuable of all the other resources. Still, okay. Alright. Oh, I thought it might be DS rank. Anyway, all of that aside, you know, it's still... I mean, the advanced supply by itself is really good value. I'm spending a total of... Alright, so we're gonna go to 65 pulls. And within that, I did get an S rank, which is not something you would normally get. But in this case, 65 pulls for S to double S is really good value. It's, you literally need 3 cards and 10 fragments, right? So 65 pulls for the value of 3 cards and 10 fragments, that's like an average of 20 pulls for an S rank card. Uh, getting her all the way from S to double S. And I think it's really worth it. Will I always be going for advanced supplies? No. It's really just selected Valkyries. Um, and even I can't say like which one in advance. It really is- oh. Okay. I guess that's the final character card unless one more comes out? No, probably not. Okay, so I really can't say like which Valkyrie in advance I would be willing to pull for in advanced supplies. It really depends on you. Like, if you're gonna ask me, like, oh, if there's an advanced supply for this Valkyrie or that Valkyrie, should I be pulling it? I really can't tell you. It really depends on your situation. For me, most of the other key Valkyries that I have are already pretty much where I want them to be. Um, you know, probably if there was an advanced supply for Azir Imperia, I would pick it up. Uh, also depends on, like, 
my situation at the time. If there's a big banner coming up, I probably would not. But otherwise, you know, it's if it's like an appearance like that, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Uh, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's any other S rank that I would want to get to double S. But here we are, double S Argent Knight. To be very honest, I have been wanting to get her to double S for a really long time. I did also want to get the Vermilion Knight, uh, but that was before Bright Knight Excelsis came out. So I did the, I did what I would usually do and became more careful than usual uh, before a big banner. So I did not get the Vermilion Knight. Seeing the remaining crystals I have now, you know, I probably could have gotten that, but you know, you always really have to be careful before a big event comes out because you never know. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Urgent Knight back onto the bridge and we're gonna end off with taking her out for a spin in the Abyss. Thank you guys for watching, this has been MG, I'll see you guys soon, bye bye を見て動きましょう。